As schools get ready to reopen, many parents are facing a tough choice to either send their kids back to school or keep them at home. It's a choice that could cost some their jobs. Jay Jarvis spoke to a local mom currently weighing that issue. As the days pass by, Time is running out for Kansas Atwood to make that big decision. By next week, we have to fill out a form in order to let them know if we plan on remote learning our children or in school attending our children. Her son Jonathan is going into first grade in the Ravenna School District, but she's worried about him attending in-person classes. I don't think that the masks are going to be enough. And with them six foot separating the kids, they're not really going, there's no benefits to school. They're gonna be sitting in the desk all day. Ravenna Schools is also letting kids learn remotely, but they have to be logged on and engaged for the entirety of the school day, which makes things tough for Atwood. She's a single mom, works a nine to five job, and her daycare provider can't monitor Jonathan while he learns online, along with the other kids she cares for. But even if she could, there's another issue. I receive state subsidized daycare. So in order for my child to go to daycare, with him being school age, they will only cover before and after school payments for him and won't cover the actual school hours. So with all options exhausted, Atwood says she's now being forced to choose between her son's health and her job as a caretaker for adults with disabilities in order to stay home with him. Lots of other families, they might be like, oh, you have aunts, uncles who can watch your kids or might be able to help you or something like that. News 5 reached out to the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services with Atwood's concerns. A spokesperson tells us, quote, we too are concerned for parents in this difficult position, which is why we have been working with our state and federal partners to seek flexibility with this policy. We anticipate having updated guidance soon. Like I'm an essential worker. How many essential workers out there have a nine to five job that are stuck in the same position I am? And as Atwood and many more parents wait for that decision, for now, they're still stuck with making this difficult choice. Unfortunately, I've been pretty much pushed into choosing between my income and I I'm a single parent. I have two kids. There is no other option for me. Jay Jarvis, News 5.